Hello guys, welcome back to S3D. And uh, if you guys saw the community post, uh, I think this is going to be it. Um, you know, last two years I have been dealing with my uh, cat Fred's uh, heart condition. And he has cost me a lot of money. And now my elderly cat, uh, Oreo, uh, you know, she's getting older and she's having kidney issues. Uh, she's beginning to have like really weak weakened uh, hind leg and uh, she's unable to jump and right now she's uh, you know she's got a giant tumor uh, that I need to do something about and uh, she's also becoming uh, incontinent basically uh, you know she would just pee all over the place uh, just you know laying there so anyway uh, I'll, I know in the past I have set up GoFundMe's for Fred and, uh, you know, it, it became a very uncomfortable situation because obviously you guys know I run a toy channel and I review toys. Uh, you know, people donate money, uh, hundreds of dollars to Fred's, uh, you know, uh, funds. And then, uh, then they come on my channel and watch me like, you know, reviewing new toys and they wonder what's going on. It's like, Hey, what are you doing with that money? You know, we donate all this money. Obviously, you know, I use the money for the medical bill for Fred and uh <laughs> if you guys don't know i'm a seller so i sell a lot of stuff uh it's actually part of the business when i was doing that kind of stuff so you know a lot of that stuff is bought to be sold you know uh, as a you know basically uh i guess we can call it a side hustle but to be honest with you uh you know these whole uh concept of uh doing a side hustle is basically like a waste of time uh, I think the whole entire side hustle, this, uh, you know, uh, what like rappers call it side hustle, they call it the, uh, you know, multiple revenue stream. Uh, it, it really doesn't work um, unless, you know, <laughs> you are creating, uh, you know, revenue streams for other people to believe in. You know, you're creating these like schemes and stuff like that. But uh, I have tried all, a lot of it. Uh, you know, in the past, and uh, most of them, I would say like 90% of it just doesn't work out. Uh, it's good for people who are desperate for money in the short run, but in the long run, none of these things will, you know, do anything. Uh, the eBay business really doesn't do anything. Uh, the only way uh, to succeed uh, doing this kind of business is actually just doing it full time. Uh, if you're going to do eBay, I recommend you just do it full time. Uh, I know a lot of people who actually does it full time make uh, that makes a lot of money. They do just make a living uh, selling stuff on eBay. For me to be doing it like as a side hustle, honestly, it doesn't work. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's unfortunate. I, I really should just stick to uh, you know my career uh, and uh, just focus on that. Uh, that's what I have been successful in the past. <laughs> in the recent years, you know, I buy into this whole social media situation where oh yeah, you can run a YouTube channel, you can run like you know uh, uh, eBay business. Uh, whatever other random nonsense on the side and then try to you know <laughs> generate multiple revenue streams yeah end up costing me a lot more money than i i was uh you know uh my wife was saying you you only invest uh what you're willing to lose and i have lost more than what i'm willing to lose so yeah it's gotten to a very uh unfortunate situation i think from this point on uh i'm probably just not gonna be producing any more content once the content runs out uh, i'm not gonna let this youtube channel die uh eventually at some point in the future i will uh return and do some type of content that doesn't maybe doesn't involve reviewing toys or i don't have to actually buy product to review because uh yeah uh, again it's very counterproductive and the whole situation with you know people helping me out with a friend and oreo uh, a lot of these people they don't uh no, like they are not collectors. They don't understand what's going on here. They are donating money directly to uh, Fred and Oreo. And then they're getting information from my YouTube channel. And then when they see like me reviewing t new toys, they don't know what's going on. So naturally, they will just be like very uh, shocked or, you know, surprised. That wait, I just gave you like a thousand dollars and it looks like you bought like, you know, five hundred dollars worth of toy. Like where, what did you do with that money, right? Uh, they don't understand. A lot of the stuff actually comes from my friends, you know, who are, you know, resellers as well. Uh, they own toy-related businesses. 
and uh and the, like I said in the past I I've, I've done the same thing. But uh anyway, uh, I just don't want to confuse people from this point forward. So from now on, I'm just, you know, I'm just not going to be reviewing stuff anymore. Uh, I know I have a lot of uh, people who are supporting uh, this channel who also donate to the cause and they understand the whole situation. And for those people who understand the situation, you know, you guys are greatly appreciated. Uh, I actually rarely keep any stuff for myself. Most of the stuff that I review on this channel either belong to other people or uh, I would review it and then I would sell it. Uh, <laughs> personally, at this point, I pretty much have given up everything for my pets. So anyway, with that being said, uh, you know, I wish you guys well. Um, you know, uh, I have a content schedule until maybe end of uh, April. So you guys can enjoy those content, uh, you know, when they become available. Most of these were filmed months ago anyway. So, yep. And uh, yeah, uh, i like to thank you guys for all your support. Thanks for watching.